Welcome back to Breakfast Television, and what a game. Raptors are, say it with me, Dwayne, one win, win away, away from, from the, the NBA, NBA finals. finals. This sounds insane, but it's so true. Here to discuss uh, whether they're going to make it there or not for a game six tomorrow night, of course, is producer and analyst from NBA TV Canada, Dwayne Watson. Good morning. Good morning, Diva. How you doing? I'm great, man. Thank you for being here. Pleasure. And let's talk about game and good five. Good stuff to talk about, of course. It's a great time <laughs> yeah. to be alive <laughs> right now, is. man. Uh, talk about this big win on the road, dude. Well, I mean, you know, watching the Raptors in this playoffs has been kind of a tense situation. I mean, every game is like anxiety and nerves, and they went down early 14 points, and again, 12 points in the third. Um, you look at the balance of this team, though. I mean, we've seen Kawhi Leonard, who's done so much for these guys, but you're getting contributions from Kyle Lowry, from Fred Van Vliet, from their bench. And I think that's the difference when you see them surge back and, and kind of play great defense on Giannis and forcing the other Bucks to step up. Well, that's it. And talk about the contribution from Van Fleet because he's been quiet until the last very, two games. Very, 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 very quiet. I mean, obviously, after the birth of his son, Fred Jr., it seems like he's kind of turned around. So, I mean, hoping Danny Green might be having a baby sometime soon to find his <laughs> shot. But, yeah. I mean, t seven for nine from three, kind of looking like I've seen you shoot the ball pretty good sometimes. But that was so clutch for this team to have the second unit step up and give that balanced offensive contribution. That's it, man. And Kawhi, you, like you said, he's playing on a different level. <sighs> you know, like... This guy is exactly why they brought him here. I mean, he's the best Raptor of all time after one season. I mean, he's dropping 30 points a game and doing it on the defensive end as well. And he's basically carrying this team to victory. And I think, you know, nine points, nine assists for him is a career high. And that's because he's had other guys to pass the ball to. They're throwing double teams and triple teams at him. And he's finding his open guys. And I think, you know, he's... He's the cyborg, right? That's it. And the one thing I know you love talking about is his answers in the, pre uh, the post game, of course. Let's check out what he said uh, last night after the game. You know, I've been here before. Um, I've been to the finals. And it's pretty much nothing, nothing new that I'm seeing out there. And um, you just got to have fun with it and enjoy it. Like I told him tonight, we're down 10. I told him to enjoy the, uh, to, to enjoy the moment and embrace it and just have fun and love it. And, you know, this is why we're here. All right, this is why we're here. We're going to play a little game right now, Dwayne. I'm going to be okay. the reporter and you be Kawhi because these right. are some of the answers that we don't see in here. Okay. Uh, Kawhi, what's next? Well, I'm going back to Toronto and I'm going to play a basketball game. Okay. How do you beat the Bucks four times in a row? Uh, I don't know. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stuff. He's a fun guy. I love this well, stuff with him. He also makes it just a matter of fact. Like yeah. Sometimes you, like, it's great to have these interviews, but like you're not really getting answers. Then he just is like, this is a dumb question. I'm going to show you how dumb it is without trolling you, right? And speaking of people that have been trolling, we've got to see Drake because he's mm -hmm. been all over the place, especially with his social media and stuff. It's been so much fun. Uh, last night at Jurassic Park, Aubrey going wild there. He turned it into his own sports bar. Yeah, it was all like living room, yeah. if you look at it, right? He's got drinks, he's got the squad, and then after the game, goes sicko mode. <laughs> Indeed. And lets us know what's up. All we are is proud and passionate. We are like a college sports team. The Toronto Raptors are a college sports team, I promise you. I love Toronto, I love this team, and we're going to the, the chance to win at home! home. A chance to win at home! <laughs> You know, there's been a lot of talk. Is it too much? Has he been too in the face of everybody? What do you think? After game four, I thought it was a little bit too much. But, you know, after seeing watching him yesterday in Jurassic Park, I mean, he's just passionate. He's a fan. I mean, I haven't watched a game in Jurassic Park. He's a better guy than I am. And I think, you know, his love for this team and the city and the Raptors, it's like that's what fuels it. And I think that's what you want to see. You want to have – he's the guy who's going to spark all the guys to get crazy in the stands. And I think it's a great thing. That's it. Tomorrow night, game six. Yes? No? What's yes. happening? Raptors in six. Yeah. I call Raptors in seven. They won game five, Raptors in six. That's it. And NBA Finals. That's it. At Dwayne Watson is where you can check him out. Oh, my gosh, the finals. You just said that. Yeah, That's, I know. We're here. I got chills, man. We'll find out very soon. Game six goes tomorrow night, 8.30. Jurassic Park gates open at 6.30. We'll be back with more BT after this. Ooh,